have you felt proud? Uh, for you, for us being your teacher. For me being your teacher? Yeah. Oh, stop, I'm gonna cry. You guys are so sweet. Hi, sweet friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I'm a kindergarten and first grade teacher in Northern California. Today is the first Monday back from winter break. It is 2022. We are going to take it very easy today. I did plan last night, um, but I didn't plan for anything except for today. So this is what my plans currently look like. We are just going to settle into our day today. Oh, <laughs> I bumped you. Today is also Cookie Butter Monday but I forgot. <laughs> so this is just a caramel latte. I'm already off my game. Also this morning I'm wearing some earrings that one of my students got me as a little Christmas gift. So we'll see if she notices. My big goals for today are to ease back into school, not even ease back into our complete routine, but mostly just ease the kids back into school. It's also a minimum day. So we have counseling this morning. We are going to do just a simple book and New Year's activity. We are going to do free choice and I'm going to pull every student to my back table with their groups and kind of chat with them and color. And then <laughs> that's pretty much going to be our whole day. I am going to introduce routines for partner reading and read to self, but that is about it. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna ease into our week. So I have a couple things that I need to print for this morning, and then we are going to be good to go. My break, you guys, was absolutely crazy. If you follow me on Instagram, you could see the whole every, how everything played out. It was crazy. I did not get to really relax at all. Long story short, I went to Tennessee over the holidays, and the flights were crazy. Every it was just a mess. And when we came back, I had Saturday and Sunday to relax, aka get back into my routine. And Saturday, I decided I want to throw out like 60% of what I own. So me and John are currently going through a house and trying to just trash, donate, get rid of things. And it feels good, but I'm a little overwhelmed. So I'm sure I have a lot to catch up with you guys on this week. But yeah, let's get started with our day. Good morning. Good morning. Every morning, Miss Call writes us a morning, morning message. We know the first two words. They say, good morning. Happy oh. Monday. Miss Call did not get a new laser pointer over the break. That's okay. I'll come point. <laughs> and it is the end of the day. I feel like I have looked like a mess all day long. Actually, I do want to say two different teachers said that this color looked good on me and that made me feel really nice. Okay, so what did we do today? I have it right here. <laughs> it's actually a really, really great day. It's funny, I wore these earrings that my student got me, but she's not here, <laughs> so she did not know. Maybe I can send a picture um, to, her, to her mom and tell her to show her. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, today was really nice. I do have a dentist appointment that I have to leave I should leave in the next five minutes. Um, they came in, they did puzzles, they talked to their friends. I got a lot of, I missed you. One of them said they missed the way I smell, so love that. Um, we did a, a book on Epic for New Year's. It was called, it's New Year's Day or something. It was a nonfiction book, informative book. And then we made some goals, so I can show you that. This is my little anchor chart. Don't, I was trying to make it cute and it ended up looking weird and they all made fun of it. Um, but here are some of the goals that they had. And then um, they all got their own paper, their own little balloons for their goals. That went well. Um, and then we did party hats. I'll show you, where did I put my party hat? I don't even remember where I put my party hat. Here it is. So everyone made up party hats and then we didn't actually have a party. <laughs> they just made party hats. Um, no one even questioned it, so we did this. And then they did stem bins, talked with their friends some more. Um, I went around and tried to talk to everybody. I was gonna pull groups and then I decided not to and just kinda just talk to them while they were playing and that worked out nicely. And then we did lunch, we came back and we went into Starbucks mode. Um, I'm sure you've heard about Starbucks mode. I heard about it first from Too Cool for Middle School. I don't know if she came up with it. I have a strong feeling she did, but I don't know for sure. Um, anyways. 
I love Megan and I loved the Starbucks meal, but I never did it with my class. So we did a partner reading today. I wrote down that we were gonna do it for 10 minutes, but we really did it for like six minutes. And then we did read to self for five minutes. So whatever procedures for all of those, they did a really nice job. Um, overall, I'd say my kids actually did do a really great job today. There were a couple of times where I felt like they weren't listening. It all came together. I actually had a bunch of kids that were out today. That's just how it goes. I would love to share and talk with you more. However, I really do have to go. So I will talk to you more later. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Tuesday. I was running late this morning um, and then I had to go back to my house because I forgot my glasses. I'm not ready for today, but I'm just going to think out loud. That way you can kind of see what it's like because I feel like sometimes I don't feel like filming because I'm like, oh gosh, I'm like feeling a little bit like overwhelmed and I don't know how it's gonna like come across or if it'll be helpful, but I'm just gonna film it anyway. So I have our read aloud. I don't really need to get much ready for that. Just our basic anchor chart pieces. And then literacy is what I'm looking at right now. I also have my AIDS intervention kind of binder. So I'm just gonna look at what she's or who she's pulling today and try to see what I need for her or if she already has everything she needs. Letter sounds phonemic awareness and then letter formation with letters of the week. We're not doing letters of the week, but okay. So I actually don't need to prep anything for her intervention, which is good. Um, so now I'm going to look at my curriculum and <laughs> kind of see everything that we're doing for phonics. I guess I should turn on the light so you guys can see. I just was really enjoying the dark one light. I love how peaceful the classroom is in the morning. The first day I came in after break yesterday, I was like, oh, wow, it's just so nice to be in my classroom okay also i did make a cookie butter latte and i'm enjoying it very much so i'm pulling up my curriculum on wonders we are going to do centers this week but we're not doing center folders because we missed yesterday and we don't do centers on friday and i'm like well i don't want some of the kids to have to do center folder work and others not so they'll just get to do the activities that are already in centers so i think the last skills we did were these skills oh so i might we might be moving on to okay Oh, you know what? I remember talking about this with my first grade team before break. The next skills that we're doing are um, the mommy E skill or the CBC E words. And my kids have that on lock. We've been doing that since basically the beginning of the year because we've been doing secret stories. Um, so I am actually <laughs> feeling better seeing that that is the skill that I was supposed to teach. Um, so the skill after that is soft C and soft G, which that's also part of Secret Stories. I am technically, I think I'm still behind. I think others, other the other first grade teachers might be ahead of us, but I've taught skills that are past where we're supposed to be in the curriculum. So for the most part, we're good. This is exciting. We don't have that many more skills to cover before the end of the year. So I might do this week, the CVC words just kind of explicitly we'll, we'll be able to spend more time in text okay the only thing that throws me off with wonders it's hard because i like to use the decodable text but the sight words are in a certain order so you can't jump around too much unless you want to like teach different sight words it's just it feels like a lot sometimes yeah because we've already done the long a skill for this so a i a y Okay, so I'll kind of show you what the Wonders looks like. And again, I'm using the online one. I have all the books back there, but it's a lot easier for me to just flip through things online and go through those online resources. And it's easier for me to just pull up um, our, it's like Reader's Writer's Workshop um, to see the skills that week instead of like going through all the different things that we have. So I'll show you what it looks like in case you are curious. Um, I know a lot of you probably have Wonders, but. Okay, so this is the text for it. Um, they have an essential question up at the top and then we go over the sight words and they put them in context and have a picture and then you have the phonics skill. So this is CBCE with the long I spelling and then so this will be review pretty much and then you go on to your book and it highlights the sight word and then it has the skills that you have already learned. So AI is already a skill that's been taught. Blends I think have been taught. Um, which we did them. Uh, digraphs have been taught and there's the long eye skill right there. So I really like this as a resource to use in class. So we'll do that um, together on the first day. And then um, this is the writing they have because this is the reading writing workshop. I don't know if you can see right there. And then here's another one. 
Normally I take screenshots and put them in the PowerPoint. I'm not gonna do that this week because I do not have time. I need to print their sight words so they can practice them in word work. I need to look at kindergarten. So I'm gonna go ahead into the kindergarten version of Wonders and basically do um, the same thing. My, I follow Wonders less with kindergarten because I did alphabet boot camp and that's not how Wonders does it. Um, and I'm really glad I did because almost all my kids have their sounds, letter sounds. Um, but I do alphabet boot camp. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna be doing CVC words and I'm gonna check in with Wonders and kind of hop around to the space that I need there. Where's the kindergarten? So for today, in kinder we're doing a letter sound review and then i'm going to just practice i think we're just going to spend the whole time making cbc words and then we'll do a text at the end i have on here that we're going to do a shared writing like a sentence we might i'm not sure we'll see i always get a little bit too ambitious but that's where i'm at right now that's my head um for small groups i'm well, who are you looking for she's not here right now so oh. she gets here at nine for my small groups today we're going to focus on reviewing and then do some writing and then I'm gonna figure out math when we get to my planning because that's where we're at. So hopefully that was helpful, probably not, but. What's it time for? Yeah. Uh-huh. Reading is like babies. We need to do it every day. Every single day. Okay, are we I allowed to? every day. Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay, we're gonna practice I today. I know this is our first time reading a book since we've been back, right? Yes. And reading is my favorite. What I want you guys to practice today is when I'm talking, your voices. Aww. When I'm talking, Sound your voices. Aww. If you need me, what do you do? Raise your hand. Beautiful. Let's practice Sound again. Effects. My turn. Your turn. When it's my turn, your voices. Aww. I need you to look, listen, and learn. If you're learning, you are participating. Sit on your word. Bottom. Good, and I can see that everybody is sitting crisscross applesauce. Beautiful. Today, I am going to click every time someone is talking, if I'm talking, or every time someone interrupts me. Our goal is to be what number? Zero. 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 Our book today is called The Smart Cookie. If you look at the front cover, what do you notice? Yeah, it's about a cookie doing something and we could tell because on the front cover we see a cookie what else do you notice about the front cover oh somebody might eat the cookie okay so you're making a prediction he thinks somebody might eat the cookie that's a really good prediction what else do you notice about the cover oh my goodness he said the smart cookie is making me think about the good egg why do you think he said that you think it's going to be similar to that other book well can i tell you something Ooh, I didn't, I couldn't even trick you guys. You're doing great. This book is by the same author. So The Good Egg, The Bad Seed. What else have we read by this author? The Cool Bean. All those books are written by the same author. Greetings. What does greetings mean? Hello. 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 Yeah, welcome. Hello. Greetings. I'm a cookie. What does that mean? Aha. Uh -huh. You have an idea. Yeah, but you have an idea. It means something clicks in your brain and you get it all of a sudden. Aha. Uh -huh. Everyone else is raising their hand, but the cookie is not. And can I teach you a new word to describe feelings? Yes. Our new word's gonna be discouraged. Say discouraged. Discouraged. Let's clap it out, ready? Discouraged. Discouraged, three syllables. When you have courage, you're brave, right? If you are discouraged, you are not feeling very brave. You're not feeling very confident. Show me confident. 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 Show me discouraged. Discouraged. So if I, for example, if I was learning how to ride my bike for the very first time without training wheels and I fell over and I said, okay, and I tried it again and I fell over and I said, okay, I'm going to keep going and I fell over. If I kept falling over, would I feel very confident about riding a bike? Yeah. No, I would feel discouraged. Say discouraged. Our cookie is feeling discouraged. Those were the most frustrating moments of all. Show me frustrating. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, once I misspelled the word dough. All right, who can tell me our main character in our story? I love how every time I've asked a question, has instantly just raised her hand. I'm so proud of you for being a leader. Who is our main character? Cookie. And there was actually another important character. The teacher, and her name was Miss Biscotti. Say setting. 
Setting. Let's see if you remember this. Crisscross. Setting is where and when the story happens. Oh my goodness, you guys are a bunch of smart cookies. The setting is where and when the story happens. Where did our story happen? Inside the cookie store. Yeah, inside the cookie store at the bakery. You're right, the bakery is a cookie store. Say bakery. Bakery. Oh, kind of lost, kind of sad, kind of discouraged, right? Original. To come up with something original and smart cookie thought and thought and thought and suddenly had an idea. An idea. What was the idea that smart cookie came up with? A poem, right? Decided to come up with a poem. And Smart Cookie worked on that poem and it made Smart Cookie feel confident. You are right. And when Smart Cookie shared the poem with the whole class, what happened? Yeah, why is that okay? In fact, why is that a good thing to be good at different things? Good learning? Do, do people like to learn about all the same things? No. No, all the jobs we have in the world, like being a teacher or being a police officer or being a fireman or being a doctor or working in a store. Or being a ballerina. All oh. oh, have you? All those different things are because people like different things and people are good at different things. I want you to turn and tell two friends something you are good at or something you like doing. I've been a bad vlogger. Today's Wednesday after school. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot to talk to you yesterday and tell you about what we did. I think I took a few clips. Oh because oh you and OW what? Oh. They hurt each other. What about these two letters? Or. or they can't decide what to do. They could ride a bike. Or. They could bake a cake. Or. They could play on the swings, right? What about these two letters? Oh oh. Ooh. Like owl eyes. Ooh. Good. What about O I and O Y? Oi, 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 oi. What about these letters? Horrible, awful. What about WH? <laughs> they are out of breath from running so much. AR says because superhero A lets R borrow his cape. Beautiful. I'm not gonna run you through everything, but one of the things that we did start doing, which I've done this with my first graders before, I did it at the beginning of the year with a couple of skills. Um, by the way, if you are new here, my PowerPoint template I have in my TPT for you. It is a PowerPoint kit, actually, so you can um, use it to build your own PowerPoints if you are looking for one. I sell mine. I was going to come up with some more themes to add. I might do that this summer, though. I'm honestly too exhausted. So we worked with an online blending board. There's actually an app. I think I have it on my iPad still. I might have, I think I deleted it, but the app is just called Blending Board. It's a blue app. It's wonderful, but the Blending Board online is by the Florida Institute, University of Florida Literacy Institute or something. So if you search University of Florida or just UF Literacy Institute, they have so many good resources. I know I've mentioned this before. A lot of people who do the science of reading are very familiar with it, but I know some of you might be new viewers. So search up UF Actually, I'll just link it for you in the description box. What am I saying? They have a lot of really good resources. One of the resources that I really like is their virtual blending board. It looks, here's what the page looks like. And I just have this bookmarked on my computer. And you can build CVC words, CVCE words, different skills, but it's very user friendly. So if you are doing a CVC word, you can do it like this. And then just by tapping on a different letter, you can change the word like this and then you could add in CVC like that. So I did some of that yesterday with first grade and with kindergarten we just did CVC words. We are doing CVC words in kindergarten now so short A is what we're working on this week. 
We've done a lot with CBC words just in our morning reading time that we do, that read aloud time that I love so much that we're doing Smart Cookie with. Um, so it's not a new skill for them. Sounding things out is not a new skill for them. I'm just explicitly doing it. So we'll do a week with short A, we'll do a week with short I, and we'll keep going through all the vowels, and then we'll move into CBC E words. So with mommy E, which again, they already know because we do that in our read aloud time. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, for first graders yesterday, part of our guided reading groups, I did Rhyme Magic, and normally what I do is I take our card, these ones, and I talked about this in my phonics video. You can click up here to watch it. This is, a, this is one of the steps in Rhyme Magic, so you'll show them the rhyme. They'll say am, we'll add the beginning, slam, slam, duh, and they'll add the ending. I had my first graders find it on their own, so I gave them the card. Is this technically part of Rhyme Magic? It's not technically a step, but they had fun doing it, and that's what I enjoy seeing them do. So I gave them the card, and I had them find the rhyme, which they know is the vowel and the letter after it. And I had them cover it with their hands, and then do it just like me and read these words. You should have seen their faces, how excited they were that they could read these words. It was wonderful. So they have these, and they have a little bit more complex ones that have multiple endings, like ER and then ING. But that was fantastic. What else? Um, what else fun did we do? We started Starbucks mode. I think I already talked about that. They're doing a really good job. And then with my kinders, one of the things that I did with math groups yesterday was um, for, my, for my kinders who are still working on just their basic counting skills, we brought out our magic wands again and I had them roll a dice and then they would count that many chips and collect it with their wands. So I have a little clip of that I can share. We've been working with Fact Family still. We're gonna move on after this week, but it's such an important skill and it helps build their number fluency. This is terrible lighting. But we've been using these that I shared a while ago that got donated to our class. And we've been using these two and they've just been working with fact families and they think it's fun and I love that and they're getting really, really good at it. I think first grade as a team, we're gonna start doing um, timed fluency tests, which I wouldn't do it if I knew it would be stressful for whatever group I have. This group, it's not stressful to them, um, at least noticeably. I'm not trying to put them in any kind of situation that's gonna make them uncomfortable or give them a bad relationship with math. Um, but we've done time tests before and they liked it. So we're gonna do some of that coming up. Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been up to today. We did our shared writing with the Smart Cookie. I had kindergartners come up and help me and I had first graders write on their own copy. So I can show you what that looks like. Here's an example of what a first grader did. So they basically just write the same thing that I write on my anchor chart. And I like this because it's literally just them copying it, but some of them will write the word before I say it and they get practice, extra practice with writing, which is always helpful. So this is what our anchor chart looks like right now. Yeah, today was a pretty good day. The actual skill we're doing right now for first grade in Wonders is CVC words. So I have a picture. I can show you what we did today. We did a couple of different things. We obviously did our decodable text, all of that. Um, but then we just did um, kind of like a T-chart and I had them write a word with the short vowel and then we added mommy E to make a word with the superhero long vowel sound. So we had at and then we would make eight. We had can and then we would make cane. That was our day. Um, and the funny thing is, I think I already said it, but today went by so quickly and it's funny how day to day I can feel completely different. Yesterday I felt really overwhelmed and like I had a lot to do and today I'm like, I feel totally fine about everything. Um, so I am gonna take a second and kind of fully plan out next week. Um, and then try to get copies ready so my aide can make the copies for me and get us prepped for next week because I have the time and I have the motivation right now and I think I also have to make another independent study packet for another student. So I'm just gonna be working. It's actually four o'clock, 4.09. Hate that I stayed, but I feel really good because I saved myself stress next week. I remember, <clears throat> The weeks leading up to break, I was not super, super planned ahead. And my goal was to plan a little bit more before we came back to school, but I did not do that. So I am planned for next week, just about pretty much fully planned. There's just a couple of little, little things that I need to figure out. So what I did was write it all down in my planner. 
um, and I started making copies for my aides so she can get us prepped for next week. And the other big thing that's really, really helpful that she will do is not just my copying, um, but my laminating and cutting too. And whenever she's doing those things is normally during like our read aloud when I'm working with my entire class, the only time of the day when I work with my entire class. So she's never doing any kind of like prep work whenever she could be working with kids. So um, she actually gets a lot done in a short amount of time. I have our read aloud for next week printed. So this is the page the first graders will do with me on the anchor chart. All of our anchor chart pieces, um, all of our craft pieces, and then the writing for it. I also have some centers that I would like her to go ahead and get prepped. This comes from the Miss Giraffe math units. So this is for fact family. So they'll be doing this next week since it'll be review. And then these centers. Um, so sorry, we will do these soon so that they know how to do them for next week on their own. And then next week we'll do this as a group. And then the week after that, it'll go into center. So we'll do it together before I put it in their centers for them to practice with. And then this one, again, Miss Giraffe, it has a place value recording sheet and then this is for kinders it is well that's not helpful they are like hundreds charts puzzles these are from from the pond the whole name is from the pond um, and I really like them and my kinders have not gotten enough practice I think with the hundreds chart but they are very interested in it so this will be copied onto there and they'll just place the pieces on top of here um, and then you can make it harder by printing the version that doesn't already have the numbers in it. I just did this for now. So I have two of those and that's all of my copies for next week. The only other thing that I print for my week is going to be um, whatever math my aide does with my kinders and then center folder work. So I don't usually have like a ton of copies that I need made because I don't really love making a ton of copies and having those. This is kind of what it looks like. So that's what I was doing two hours <laughs> so yeah I am going to go home I'm very tired also I think my Kindle is finally here which brings me so much joy I have been the worst vlogger I did not vlog at all yesterday honestly it's a shame because I think I looked pretty cute yesterday um didn't vlog at all yesterday so that means today is Friday which means this is probably the shortest vlog that has ever been on my channel so I can, I can. explain in the, Sorry. in the beginning he felt lost at school because who can tell me why why did he feel lost at school because he couldn't get the answer good he felt lost at school because he didn't know the answers. His teacher gave him homework because... Why would she ask them to create something original? Why would she do that? Yeah, so the smart cookie would realize what they were good at, right? Because we're all good at different things. Good, if your jacket is not on your body, where is it? In your cubby. It's either on your body or in your cubby. In the end, he realized everyone was a smart cookie because... Why? Because everyone knows something, right? Yeah, everyone knows how to do something, right? Let's try again. In the beginning, he felt lost at school because... Turn and tell your partner. He felt lost at school because why? Thanks. Great job explaining the story. Say I can. I can tell the main idea. The main idea is the most thing the author wants you to know. Good. Why do you think the author wrote this book? Was it to tell us about how he lived in a bakery? No. No, that wasn't important. The author wrote this story so we would know. Hey, um, that you could find something to do and then you get good at it. So you would know that you can find something to do and you can get good at that. Yeah, he wanted us to know how the smart cookie felt and that we can feel that way too. The smart cookie had to try something creative. new. He had to try something creative. He had to think outside of the box. And when he did that, he felt 
Confident. Confident. Beautiful job. We are going to make our smart cookie today. Are these in order? No. No, they are not in order. Your job is going to be to cut on the dotted line. Your scissors are not for playing. They are for cutting. You are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six pictures. Are we going to put them wherever we want them? No, we need to make sure they are in the right order. So you're going to put them down and put them in order and then you can glue them. If you're not sure, where can you look? Right there. When you get your paper, you can start. At least we set some kind of record. I'm sure of it. Um, yesterday we started making our smart cookie craft. I totally forgot to have them finish it, but that is okay. Here's what it looks like. They're going to make the cookie part of it today. I was going to go to Walmart and buy them the little cookies that have like the soft frosting on top and the sprinkles, you know, because it looks like the smart cookie. And I forgot to do that, but that's okay. We also did a writing yesterday. I decided on Thursdays I'm going to do um, a writing time. It's hard because I don't have a full writing block and I've done my best to kind of like incorporate it where I can but I'm like you know what we're just gonna make Thursdays our writing days so um for first grade we did a sentence together they did a sentence on their own I am still working at the sentence level with a lot of my first graders that's just where we're at and then with my kindergartners we did a sentence together and they wrote a sentence on their own too I was trying to think about what we did um in the first graders they did things like first grade part of our math adventure which is basically just a math packet that I give them every week and you can kind of see their progress. I need to date stamp these, but they did fact families yesterday. They're really getting the hang of fact families. I think I have just the same like two kids that are, ju they're just gonna need more support. Um, so they're doing really great with it. Here is an example of what I put in the math adventure packet this week. It started with all my papers. RMS. I am, it's so funny, I'm ahead of planning this week, but everything else is just like, not where it's supposed to be. Okay. They just did commutative property day two. They did this and then when they were done with it, I had them do this page, which this little girl didn't get to, but that's okay. Um, so that's what they are doing in math. During writing, I have to share this story. I did post a TikTok about, it. actually, you know what? If you want to hear the funny story, go follow me on TikTok. The like cover of the TikTok is, I see a fat cat. It is hilarious and I want to share that story with you, but go watch it on TikTok. We also did these um, snowman and, not snowman, what is it called? Penguin and polar bear art. So my kinders did little penguins and my first graders did little polar bears. And after they turned them in, I took a white crayon and I did little snowflakes and they're going to watercolor the background today. And then they'll see the snowflakes magically appear. So it'll look like these up there. And that art is gonna go on this. Um, I can't decide if I'm gonna put our smart cookie work on this bulletin board or if I wanna wait till next week when we do a snowman book to put it up. This would be a really great opportunity for you guys to let me know in the comments what your favorite things to see in the vlogs are. Do you wanna see me putting their work in their center folders? Do you wanna see me getting the center center items ready? Do you wanna see me prepping for my small groups? Tell me what you wanna see in the comment section. That way next week we can come in and just have the best time. <laughs> I'm so off this week. You guys, today was a good day. I'm just so tired. I am ridiculously tired and I am so ready for the weekend. This was our first day, first week back from break and we were, it was great, it was productive. I had very like minimal issues. I'm just exhausted. I'm so tired. So, quick recap, we did the smart cookie. My turn? Your turn. When it's my turn, your voice is? Oh. I need you to? Look, listen, and learn. If you're learning, you are? Participating. Sit on your bottom. Great job, Miss Cosmine. What's our book called? It's a smart cookie. The smart cookie. Say, I can. I can. Make connections. Make connections. To the story. To the story. When we're reading today, if you feel like the smart cookie feels in any part of the story, or you have a or you have something to share about a time when you felt the same way. I want you to put a thumb up by your heart and I will call on you to share. Greetings, I'm a cookie. I live in a... Oh, let's try again. Greetings, I'm a cookie. I live in a bakery. On a street corner near the river. Come on in. It's a warm and supportive place to spend some time. 
and solving a puzzle like this. Uh -huh. Was it because I didn't care? Even though I knew the material and those were the most frustrating moments of all. Show me frustrating. Frustrating moments of all. I want you to pause and think for five seconds. Think about a time you felt so frustrated. Think to yourself. Turn and talk to your partners. When did you feel frustrated? We all felt frustrated before? Yes. Yeah, is that a is that a good feeling? Is that a positive feeling? No. no. It's not a good feeling. Is it okay to feel frustrated? No. Yes. Yeah, it's okay to feel frustrated. Who wants to tell me about a time when they were frustrated? When you were trying to say goodbye to your brother and he wasn't listening or looking at you? That is so frustrating. We all felt frustrated before. Characters have problems. Characters Whoa, well, try again. Characters have problems. Characters change. So in the beginning of the story, our smart cookie was feeling frustrated. In the beginning, he was feeling frustrated. In the beginning, he was feeling frustrated. Right? He felt lost at school. I want you to think about a time when you tried something that was really hard for you, and you kept trying and you were successful. Think about a time that something was really hard for you. Private think time, five. Turn and talk to your partners. What was something you've done that's really hard for you that you had to keep trying at? Teaching your dog how to be a good boy. That is the perfect example. Both of your dogs, that is the perfect example. You have to be really, really patient and keep trying, huh? I love that, great connection. Words, sometimes words can be really hard if you don't know them, but then when you sound them out, maybe you'll get it the next time or even the time after that. The important thing is that you keep trying. Yes, I stared out the window and I, when have you felt proud of yourself? In your brain for five seconds, when have you felt proud? Who wants to share with me? When you climbed up a ladder, climbing up a ladder for the first time is actually really hard. So when you climb up that ladder, you feel proud and successful, don't you? Love it. When you decorate, you feel proud. I love that. If you're learning, you are participating. Thank you. Um, when have you felt proud? When you swam? Yeah, because learning to swim is hard. You should be proud of yourself. When you got rich in your game, you felt proud of yourself? Yeah, that's not easy. It takes a lot of time to become rich in a yeah. game. When have you felt proud? Uh, for you, for us being your teacher. For me being your teacher? Yeah. Stop, I'm gonna cry. You guys are so sweet. I am super proud of you guys every single day. Writing portion, I want you to turn and talk to a friend. Tell them what you wanna write about. When did you feel proud? All my kindergartners are working hard. Kiss your brain. So smart. First graders, are you ready to write? Yes. Okay, we're gonna say, I felt proud when. Say it with me. I felt proud when. What's the first word? I. Ready? Should I be frustrated that my marker's not working? No. I can just get a new one. I felt proud. Say proud. Proud. Do you hear that blend in the beginning? Say proud. Say the blend. Per. What letters? P R. P R. Ready? Per. Ow. What two letters are we gonna say? Ow. U and O W. Do you think we're gonna use? Do you think we're gonna use O-U or O-W here? O-U, because it's in the middle of our word, right? I want you to line up, you're going to get a clipboard and you need a marker. I love our weekly read alouds that we do. We read the same book Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but we do different things. Um, I did make a TikTok explaining it for you guys, and today we did our writing response and they finished it and I sent that home. I think I do have a picture I can put up here for you guys, um, but we did that, that went great. Also, my principal walked in while we were doing the read aloud and my class was completely engaged looking at me. They didn't even turn back when he opened the door. We were reading the book together, we were talking about it, and I was like, yeah, let you go, kids. Um, so after that, we honestly, we just tied up some loose ends that we had. This is kinder, and then this is first grade. I pulled a ton of students today using this binder. I think I've shared it before, but this is by All Students Can Shine. Um, and Kenzie actually had this and she showed it to me last year, but it's reading intervention and I'll go through and like for my kindergartners, I'll just go through and I'll call them over and I'll record on their class dojo, them tapping and saying the sounds. Um, some of them, this is all I do with them and I will prompt 
the ones who are still learning their sounds just as practice. And then um, with my first graders, we'll do some blends. Um, and then, sorry, there's a lot in here. Some of my first graders are blending CBC words. Um, and I like it because it has CBC words, but then it also has short vowels with blends. Here we go. Most of my first graders this week, I did this because we were doing mommy E or CVC E words. The A is going to make the superhero A sound, the long A sound. So we'll go K, A, K, cake, F, A, S, face. Um, and this one, it was actually really interesting because I didn't give them a heads up. And this C sound, this um, C the soft C sound is going to be our skill next week, but I know a lot of them have been exposed to it and I didn't tell them when they were reading these words to that this was gonna be the soft C sound. So some of them did this, A, K, and they would look at me and I was like, does that sound right? And they were like, no, and I was like, what else can C say? And they tried S, F, A, S, and they got it. And I was like, that is amazing. And yes, fake is a real word too, but they figured it out. Anyways, I was impressed with that. And when I say I put it in Class Dojo, I literally record them reading and send it to their portfolio on Class Dojo so their parents can see it. And it's sweet because I have parents who will comment on it or say how proud of them, their kids they are. I think it's really helpful to see. Um, and I love seeing progress too. So some of my kinders didn't get all of these letter sounds and we know they don't know all of them, but it's nice because you can look back like a month ago and see a difference or two months from now and see a difference. So I really like having this all put together um, and I'll make copies of this for my aide to practice with her group so I'll pull out a sheet and make copies for her and she'll work on it with them but when I'm recording them I just pull out this big thick binder so I think I've already shared this with you guys but it's full of great things take you know an hour or so prep it put it together and then you will use it probably forever <laughs> what else did we do uh, we did a lot we did Ada twist um, scientist while we, me and my aide called them to do these watercolors. So that's what they were doing with that. And I love Ada Twist Scientist because I don't have a ton of time to teach science in a kindergarten and first grade combo class. I just don't. There's certain things that we could do together. There's certain things you would need to do separate, but I love incorporating any kind of science anywhere. And Ada Twist on Netflix is really, really good. So I love it. The kids love it. What else did we do? We had library today. I think what took the longest time was just doing our writing, but the day went really quickly. I did a lot of of just paperwork and things like that. I don't know, I don't have anything else to share with you this week. I have, I know I've said it in this video probably a million times, I have been super, super active on TikTok, so make sure you follow me over on there. If you have any questions about what I'm doing in the videos, let me know, I'm rambling again, so <laughs> I'm gonna cut it short. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos like this video. If it was helpful, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one.